been contacted by someone with regards to some very strange activity taking place in their home. The family reside in an old farmhouse situated in North Wales and have been experiencing bizarre events for quite some time. They have told me that objects have been known to move by themselves and that the family pets can often become very unsettled. They're staring into an empty space as if seeing something or someone there. They will often refuse to go into certain rooms. Family friends have experienced terrifying nights in the guest room and point blank refused to stay there again. Could this be worth a look for the team? I'm bringing an old and derelict chapel forward to the team, which is rumoured to be haunted. This is quite an isolated site, which makes it more interesting that there have been sightings of a hooded figure seen in the window and walking around the building. Many have said this is in connection with the building being used for dark practices and satanic worship. Chanting has been heard by explorers who have fled at the sound, not wanting to risk being spotted. Could this be made up stories about an old empty building, or could there be some truth to the rumours? I'd be interested to find out. My location is a country inn and guest house, which is host to several spirits. The building originated as a cottage dating back as far as 1273. Amongst the ghosts said to roam this building is a lady who is resident in guest room 3, and a man wearing dark clothing who is often mistaken for a regular customer has been witnessed on several occasions in the bar area. Mysterious music has been heard in the pub's kitchen, and when checking, no radios were turned on. I think it would be a great opportunity to spend the night in a very old and very haunted country pub. I'm taking the team back in time to the 13th century. To a building which originally started out as a private dwelling. As the years passed by, the building was extended and additional properties were added. The result is now what we see today. A fabulous inn that oozes character and charm. But it's not only the living that appreciates the inn's hospitality. Will these walls speak to us tonight? Hi, my name's Julie. I'm the landlady of the Blue Cow Inn at South Witham, and I've been here since 2018. At the Blue Cow, we've just had our first open mic night. We have a monthly quiz night. We have a large restaurant. We've got six hotel rooms. So originally, the building that we're in at the moment was a small holding. The front door was just behind me. Um, and over the years, it's been uh, knocked through into two cottages to make it, to make the, the bar area and the restaurant area. Um, then as the years have gone on, there's been various different extensions. About 1600, it was knocked through to, uh, into the cottages. Um, originally it was called, I believe, the Royal Oak, and it changed its name to uh, the Blue Cow Inn. Um, the local landowner used to pay his uh, staff in blue chips, so anything with blue in the name, they could spend their chips. So there was quite a few pubs in the area that were started with the name Blue. There's only a few of us left. I think there's the, uh, the Blue Cow, the Blue Pig, the Blue Dog, I think. So in the, uh, in the pub, we have supposedly got several ghosts. Um, there is a lady that resides in our B&B room three. Um, in this area here, coming through the front door, what was the front door behind me, there's um, supposed to be a black dog that comes and walks through this beam. When we first took over, um, behind the bar, on one of the shelves behind the bar, I found a, an egg under an upturned glass, which was a bit... Uh, bit weird. Um, when I've looked a bit deeper into that, apparently it's children playing. Um, some of my staff have seen things. Um, there is a little white dog that's been seen by uh, my daughter that used to work here and her now boyfriend um, several months in between, a little white dog that runs past the end of the opening to the bar. There's a room, uh, room three, which, like I say, is supposed to have a lady in it. Um, 
the cleaner used to put the light facing the bed and then come back later and it would be moved again. Uh, another cleaner has told me that the kettles in the rooms sometimes just turn themselves on. And as far as I know, nobody's uh, investigated. Right, we're all set up, ready to go. Um, Phil? Yes. Taking first sitting there on the hub? I am. Okay. Um, we're in room one at the minute, so we've set up hub cam in here. So tell me where CCTV cameras are. We have CCTV cameras facing down the corridor, which is behind Jane, I believe. There we go. Uh, we have a CCTV camera on the entrance to the little basement area where the wall that's bricked up is. Uh, one of the CCTV cameras is looking down the bar area uh, over the pool table and into the back part of the bar which goes through to another area where the restaurant is. And on the bottom right we have a shot of the other side of the bar looking down the bar area. Okay, pretty much covered that Correct. whole area. Okay, so where are you going to be then Dale? Um, myself and Jane are going to go downstairs into the original 13th century section yeah. of the bar. Okay, and I think just below here where we are in the bedrooms. That leaves myself and you, Ben, and you decided that you wanted to go in room three. Room three. So we're going to go and check out room three. See if there's any ladies there. Yeah. Leave the door open. See if you can see her in the corridor. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Good luck, guys. Have see you in a bit. So we are at the Blue Cow. We are. Uh, we are in the bar area in the original 13th century section. This is the original cottage that was. Um, there was a doorway just here where the dartboard is. And the noises you could hear then from upstairs was just Sarah and the rest of the gang just going to their own areas. Yeah. To settle down. So the bedrooms are just above us which again is part of the original building here. Should we have a little wonder? Let's have a wonder um, and have a quick look around. We'll have too much because I don't want to trip over a chair or anything. So we've got background noise from the bar. Yeah. Which is just the pump systems and everything that you normally get in a, a pub. So you'll get used to that noise and can differentiate anything different from it then. Yeah. So we have sections of the restaurant here. This now goes into the newer section, which was built in uh, around 1550. And that's newer. And that's newer, um, which was two cottages and an animal shelter that was added on. And then, as I mentioned earlier, it was all knocked through in the early 1600s to make what is now the pub. Watch the little step when you go in. So, you wanted to come into this room. Why did you want to come into this room? It's the one that sounds like it got the most activity. The, the lady. Mm -hmm. Just the lady just sounds like spooky, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? And it's really cold in here, so let's see what happens. And it's dark. Very dark. So if there are any spirits here with us, um, please come and make yourself known to us. We know this is a very old building, there must be a lot of history here. Can you come through the original front exit? The front, front exit? Front exit. <laughs> Whatever one of those is. Can you come through the original front door? Is the lady that is supposed to occupy this room with us? If you are, we will make a sign, let yourself be known. Maybe make a noise, tap on something, maybe even move something. We've been told that you like to move the light in the room, so if you maybe want to move that. Obviously there's one on either side of the room. Feel free. Anyway, we've, we've drove quite a while today. Which one of you is going to buy me a drink? 
Is anybody going to get me a drink? I'd love it. I'd love you to get me a, a glass of wine. Can you make a tap just to tell me that that's fine and you're going to get me one? Oh, can we hear you with your voice? We'd love to hear you. Would you like me to buy you a drink? Oh, what, Ooh, that was loud. What was that? That was loud. Thank you. Was that you telling us you're here? Does that mean I'm buying? Is it my round? Yes. Yes. Round. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and again. How many drinks am I buying here? Did you work here or did you live here in this building? Did you know it before it was actually a, an inn? Maybe you worked on the building, part of the renovations, was that you? I'm just going to have a walk over there. Just yeah, so okay. Identify where that noise is coming from. Go for it. It's different to the bar noises as it well. It is. It is. It's not the bar noise. It's definitely um, we've not. We've got a wooden floor. We've got a stone floor. So that's a good thing as well. Yeah, the building won't settle. This, this is it. Ow. That was me. <laughs> There's a chair there, Jane. Yeah, there is. Are you still there? Can you tap again for us? Can you tap to show, show you there with Jane? Drink. Did you hear that then, Jane? No. There was a, a metallic tap from around here. Come on, let me know that you what drink you'd like. I'm, I'm stood at the bar. How do you feel in here? It feels very cold. Mm. It's... I don't know, it's like... I don't feel alone, but it's not uncomfortable. It's like, it's a comfortable feeling. How would you feel if you were on your own? I mean, I feel obviously different. Because I'm going to give you this camera and I'm going to leave you. You're bored. <laughs> Leaving me. Huh? What are you doing that for? You're bored in this room. No, I'm going to give you a chance to be in here on your own. Oh, okay. So how do you feel, Jane? I feel, um, I feel all right. I feel quite relaxed. Um, the landlord was was right. It, it feels okay. You know, mm. whatever's here. A, oh, what the hell was that? Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> Nora, Sarah. Jesus <laughs> wept. <sighs> I wonder what you reacted then. I saw this figure. <laughs> <F> hell. <sighs> so, here I am. Alone, in bedroom three, supposedly alone. I could have a friend. I mean, that was talking, but I do know Jane. It's a below me, but that didn't sound like Jane. I mean, that was a female, female voice obviously and uh, there was meant to be a female in this room so if that was you would you please speak again
Preferably don't scream in my ear, otherwise I will pat my pants. I don't like it, I feel like I keep seeing things in my, with my eyes. Because I don't know if it's the way my glasses are kind of like moving, but the lights are in me. I keep thinking I'm seeing like something's in the doorway almost. If there's somebody here, can you copy the sound that I'm going to do? Sorry. You are the chair. That was, that was, that was the chair. <clears throat> Can you tap on something back, please? What kind of thing did you hear? Like a knock, but... Okay. I'm not sure if it was, I, I don't know. Can you tap on one of the glasses that's at the back of the bar? What are you moving? No. No. Whenever you look at the camera, you lose all depth, of depth perception. Which your eyes get adjusted to the light, and then you look up and it's just pitch black. Good morning then. I don't know if it was outside, but it's either distant or quiet. Either way, it's either quiet. Somebody here? Coming to join us? Come and take a seat. Come and join us at this table. Sound like footsteps, do you? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, did you hear that? I don't know if the camera on, pick it up. It's really. They sounded on stone, didn't they? They sounded like footsteps on stone. That's really odd. Come on, if there's anybody here. Come and let us know. Come and show yourself. Don't be afraid. We are now moving on to room number two. Okay. Here we are. Bedroom number two. We're work working. We're working our way through the rooms now. And counting down. Obviously. The spooky ghost is said to be seen, the spooky lady ghost, sorry, is said to be seen in room three. However, she could actually be a room, room two occupant who is just getting sick of the noise from room three and going around and knocking on the door and telling her to shut up. So, if my theory is correct, which, I mean, it's a bit outlandish, that could mean we get interacted with by the room two ghosts, not room three. It's, it's been alive the entire time. No one's understood it like I have. <laughs> So, the lady that is in the Blue Cow Inn, the one that has been seen in the bedrooms up here. That kind of made me jump. It felt like the bed. Anyway, said lady of the Blue Cow Inn, are you here today? Are you here with me right now? Do something to let me know. Let us know what your, your drink is. Are you a beer drinker? Give us a knock if you're a beer drinker. If you like cider, give me two knocks.
or if you like other drinks, three knocks. Wow. Oh my God. What the hell? What the hell? That was glass. It was. Right, turn your torch off. Hello? That's behind you, Jane. Why the hell was that glass movement then? Come on, come on, come on. Hello? Are you wanting a drink? Is that why you moved the glasses? Is that what you're trying to tell us? It sounded more like beer bottles. 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 Yeah, it glass. did. It did. No, nothing. No, no. There's bins up there, but they're not. Yeah, it was inside. It was from the bar area. Was it somebody saying that this is what they want to drink? Is there anything behind the bar, Sarah? Noise that to that, wasn't it? What's that noise then? Did you hear that? Like that thud. And a click. There's some bottles down there. Yeah. But that bottle noise was clear as day, wasn't it? That was them. There. That's yeah. more like it. Yeah. Oh, I hope it did. Oh, hundred percent. It will have got that. Yeah. So we're thinking it sounded like these bottles here. Nothing's toppled over. Yeah, it went. It was as if. Okay, so I'm going into. Room three. God, it's really cold. Stupidly cold. Oh. Was there anybody here? Did you work here or were you one of the people that used to frequent the inn? Whether it was the Blue Cow Inn or the Royal Oak? Are you still here now? I heard you rattled some bottles earlier. Can you do that again? So room three is, as reputedly, um, got a lady in here. Um, she resides in here. So I'll see if she wants to say hello. If you are in here, can you come and say hello to me? Can you make yourself known to me? Did you live here? Did you work here? Did you just move something, Jane? I'm just moving the mouse. I'll do it again so you can hear it. Did you just move something, Jane? Did you just move something? Yeah? Now I can't hear it. Okay. I heard what sounded like, like breath. But it was from up the corridor. Right. Wasn't me. Okay. So I can't point the camera up there because of the, the CCTV. But what I heard sounded like a, a, a long breath. Almost like a...
You might wonder why we're here in the middle of the night. We've come to meet you, if we can. Come to try and talk to you. Can you try and make a noise and let us know that you're with us? What do you think you keep seeing? Just black shapes. Back when I was in that room near the door, I kept thinking I see something, but I don't know if it was just like the, the light or my glasses or what. And then like just out of corner of your eye or middle like of my eye is kind of thing. Straight on. Oh well, it's like with the way I'm looking, I'm kind of like giving it kind of side eye, like looking like that. But my face is this way, kind of thing. Mm. And I'm, you know, the gap in your glasses. It's like I could see it there, so I can't see it properly. And what I've, I've just seen a second ago, uh, honestly, in the corner of my eye, looked like someone peered around that corner over there where the arcade machine is, like twice, because I saw it in the corner of my eye. I saw it go away, so I come back again. But I don't know if my dad moving about shadows. But well, that's what I saw, it looked like in my eye. Like a shoulder and head poked around the corner kind of thing. Really? It's quite freaky. Is that you? Are you peeking? Having a look at us, wondering why we're here? You don't need to be frightened of us. Did you hear that? What the hell? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you, didn't I? Is that you? Hello? Can you do that again, please? Yeah, that's what we said before. Did you not hear anything then? No. What did you hear? It sounded like, you know when somebody's talking? Yeah. But sort of distant. And then it sounded like there were a noise in there. sit on the bed looking at the entrance to the bedroom is this where you're seen can you walk through the door into the room If you were a servant here, could I ask you to get me a drink? Can you do that for me? 
Can you knock to say yes? Knock once to say yes. Come on, you can do more than that. What's that? I don't know. Where did it come from? Over here. What, in, inside? Yeah. Was that it again? Yes. Come on. I don't know what it was. It's one of those, obviously. But there's loads of bottles here. Have you had anything in here, Jane? No, not in here. I've checked out a little bit and asked, but not really. No. No. Did you not hear it? I don't have a door, I don't know. Is there a noise? A loud one. It sounds like it's from where that TV is. Is there anything on that shelf? I can't see. I'm just trying to get out. Watch out, Ben. Whereabouts was it? Just the shelf there, not the on the TV. There's nothing on it. It sounds like something moving like across like that shelf. And there's a wire. That sounded like it, didn't it? Kind of, yeah. What? What was that? Tell me to move. Yeah. Oh, do you know why it feels weird when you walk down here? The temperature drop doesn't help, does it? I don't know why, but you know when you get that, where you feel a little bit on edge? Mm -hmm. When you're walking in somewhere, it feels a bit like that. It does feel completely different. It does yeah, completely. And it's strange that the older bit feels more comfortable than the newer bit. What was that then? Oh, was that? Yeah. Like a... No, more... You know the noise my coat makes? It was like, a bit like... Oh, I thought that was you. I heard it, but I thought it was your coat. It's one of them places, is this, where I wouldn't be surprised if somebody popped their head round and went, I'm just sat at bar. Do you know, Do you know what? what I mean? How weird is that? Because Ben has been sat here and he, he says, 
It keeps seeing as if somebody's poking the red round, like the corner. That's what I just keep expecting. And what I've, I've just seen a second ago, uh, honestly, in the corner of my eye, look like someone peered around that corner over there where the arcade machine is, like twice. Because I saw it in the corner of my eye. I saw it go away, I saw it come back again. But I don't know if my dad was moving about shadows. But that's what I saw, it looked like the corner of my eye. Like a shoulder and head poking around the corner, kind of thing. He says he's seen it a few times, but he's not sure if it's his eyes, you know, playing tricks on him. And not in a scary, like, mm, way, it's like more like... What, what are you having, yeah. 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 His steps here, so we can. He goes up and down. This, the difference in it's temperature remarkable. is crazy. Mm. It's really cold through there, isn't it's it? It's really oh, cold on the yeah. seat. But I missed the window. I was just been saying that I was expecting somebody to pop the head round, and apparently you've already said that you. Th yeah. Who's that? It's a table to our table. Mm. That you already thought you'd seen somebody pop the head round. Yeah. Multiple times. Can you knock twice for me? Oh, wow, thank you. Can you knock twice for me? Oh, wow, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Can you make the bottles rattle again for me, please? Two taps and then I know. Five the bottles. Thank you so much. I that was amazing. Okay, we're all here now because we just think it's amazing that you're doing this. Please do it again for us. Are you back again? Have you come to speak to us? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Can you do that again, please? Wow. Thank you. Can you do it twice for me? Can you tap twice? Okay. Please try really hard. If you can knock twice. <gasps> thank you what? so much. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. And what about those bottles again? Can you rattle the bottles? Come on, please rattle the bottles for us. We know you're there. Come on, please. Bottles. Use our energy if you need it. Can you perhaps knock one of the bottles over? Or even a glass. Mum, 
listens to you as well. Huh? They only listens to you. Seems to be, don't they? Mm -hmm. Are you still with us? Can you make a tapping sound again? Knock on something? So it's getting on for, oh gosh, it's going on for four o'clock in the morning. I think we're just about ready to wrap up here at the Blue Cow and we've had such an amazing night. What a night. Uh, it's really took us all by surprise. Uh, a fantastic location with lots of really, really good results. What an interesting night that was. Uh, the mystery of the bottles rattling on... Uh, almost on command, especially for Sarah. She seems to have the, uh, the voice that they all like around here uh, during the investigation. Uh, and the knocking noises. Um, I thought it was a really interesting building. Uh, first time it's ever been investigated, so uh, we're really lucky to do this. What a surprise that was. Didn't expect that. Um, can't explain what was going on with the knocking and the bottles rattling. And it was all done by Sarah. It was responding to Sarah's voice, which was really, really interesting. Pretty interesting night. Uh, the first vigil for myself uh, was me and my mum in the room three. Then she decided to abandon me. Uh, I felt a little bit uneasy in there. I kept seeing shadows, but I don't know if my, my eyes were playing with me. But then into vigil two, when we came down here, it's like everywhere I went, I would circle the place multiple times. And I always found something new that was like, it looked like a person kind of stood there and like at first glance and it was like oh it's just like a bell or something so that kept throwing me off guard and it kept me on edge. Main action seems to be down in this bar area downstairs. We've been getting knocks in response to questions. We've been getting bottles rattling from behind the bar. We can't explain how it's been caused, what's doing it. We've tried to replicate it. We've put the camera on there. We've left it rolling. So maybe we'll get something back on the camera when we look back at it. I really enjoyed it. I think uh, there's definitely something strange going on here at the Blue Cow Inn. It's knocks on the bar uh, in response to questions. Uh, footsteps heard upstairs while well, we're all downstairs. There's all five of us down here and we're hearing footsteps uh, from room three, which is said uh, to be haunted. I've um, been getting footsteps from upstairs as well. Um, been a little gemless this place actually, I've enjoyed my night. So yeah, pretty eventful night, got really fun towards the end and it's uh, good to be back. Absolutely phenomenal night. For me, uh, it's my location so I'm a bit biased, but it, it was brilliant. And for me, yeah, it's definitely haunted. All in all, I've really loved it here. It's a beautiful building, very old, very full of character, and definitely worth a visit. I have a city centre pub on offer this time, which has been rumoured to be haunted for many years. The pub landlord tells me that it appears to be connected to a tankard, which occasionally falls from above the fireplace. Even though there are a number of them, it is always the same one that falls. The sound of children's laughter has been witnessed when the pub has been empty, and loud banging has been heard coming from the cellar. I think it would be worth taking a look. It is often said that looks can be deceiving, and I believe that my location could just be one of those cases. This building started life very differently, but has stood the test of time, bringing with it a number of reported hauntings and paranormal occurrences. There have been several sightings of different apparitions alongside poltergeist activity, Loud bangs and footsteps are often heard from above, but there is a darker side to this building, one which I feel may take the team by surprise. I hope that I get the opportunity to visit with them to find out. The location I'm putting forward for the vote is an old Art Deco theatre, which originally started life as a cinema. This building is full of character and is said to have at least four phantom residents, including a young girl, a former caretaker, and even an apparition known as the White Lady. One of the male spirits here has a reputation for being rather unpleasant, and it is reported the young child feels threatened by his presence. I'd really like to get in and explore further, and I'm sure the rest of the team will too. <laughs>